New tonight, the man accused of shooting a Westchester mom in her apartment faces assault and robbery charges. Police say he stole a gun and then left a trail that led to a quick arrest. Reporter Larry Seward is live in Westchester Township. Larry, how's the victim tonight? Police say she'll live, Tanya, but a bullet tore through her back. Tonight, neighbors wonder what triggered this attack. It created a lot of fear. Around the victim's home, upstairs and down, neighbors rattled by the mid-afternoon shooting of a four-year-old's mother in their apartment in front of another witness feel anything but secure. I don't know, like as I said earlier, what could happen. You know, we are living in a compound and you don't know what is going on or somebody might, we don't know. Westchester police caught the accused shooter within eight hours of the 911 call. I'm not shot, I'm holding the wound of the person who got shot and we need an ambulance. A 22-year-old witness told dispatchers an armed man came into an apartment with a four-year-old inside. Two women tried to fight him off. Police say he shot the four-year-old's mother, then stole her 9mm handgun. But she snatched something valuable, too. Okay, did this person who did this leave in a car, or how did they leave? Leave in the car, but we got a phone. Left in the car, but we have a cellular device. Police did not discuss what evidence helped, but officers found enough to get this arrest warrant for Courtney Montgomery. With help from Cincinnati police, they tracked the 33-year-old to his College Hill apartment and arrested him at home. With Vitellis Tago's neighbor expected to survive, the man who's lived in this complex more than a year remains in disbelief. It's the first time the Cameroon native saw violence here and hopes it's the last. Tonight, police told us they don't know much about the motive of the suspect or his connection to the victim. Tonight, Montgomery is in Butler County's jail charged with aggravated assault or felonious assault and aggravated robbery. Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.